Well, Lava, I'm so glad you asked. Today, we're going to talk about dialogue in Scratch Jr. Right. So, let's get started and check out a dialogue in Scratch Jr. Sam's been working on something here. Uh, we'll click this one. So, for a dialogue, it's going to take at least two people. Here we've got a student and a teacher. And we can see that when we've got that green flag, so the teacher starts, and he continues, and at the end of that series, at the end of that script, we see that send orange message. The send message block is really important in conversations because when he sends that message, the other character receives the message. And when they receive the message, it triggers the next line of dialogue so they can talk back and forth. And we see here that at the end of this line of dialogue, there's a red message. And if we check back to the father, we see he receives the red message. So dialogue works by having a character do something and then send a signal or a message to another character. And when that other character receives the signal, they do the next thing. Now, you can see that we've got some speech bubbles and some weight bubbles next to each other. And that may, is to make sure that we can read the speech while they're doing it. So the key things today are looking at those things, the speech and the weight. Now, let's take a look at a sample and we can kind of get a sense for what's going on. So that looks like a lot of fun. We can create a dialogue between two characters that explores an idea. Today, second grade, you're going to be building a dialogue about bees. You can have people talking about bees. You can have bees talking about bees. We want you to explore what you know about bees by creating a conversation between two characters. Be sure to use your message pieces 
we'll put those pictures on the board to help you out. Have fun and make something awesome. Okay, so just for review, here's the important parts of what we're doing. When we start off in this one, Mr. Blue is going to talk to the fly about bees. Because, you know, flies and bees, they're probably friends, right? So we start off by having him have this green flag as the first trigger to say the program starts. After the green flag, we use the purple speech block to have him talk. Here we can see he says, hello, fly. Then he sends the orange message. Let's look at the fly. The fly receives the orange message. These are signals that go back and forth. The fly talks and sends the red message. Mr. Blue receives the red message and he says his next block. That ought to be enough to get you started. Let's have some fun.